Good Sunday morning and thank you for joining us on News 3 Now this morning. I'm Lane Kimball. McKenna is off today. Well, a seasonably chilly start on this morning after Christmas. Let's take a look outside first thing this morning. Julian, still no snow out there right now, but that could be changing. That's right. No snow as of right now, but we are keeping our eye on some snow to roll in for tonight. And on top of that, going into our Tuesday as well as we do have an alert day in the forecast for just that. A winter mix for light snow, freezing rain and rain to mix snow is potentially going to be bringing in about an inch to three inches possible for us here in Dane County and for southern Wisconsin as we go into our Tuesday and Tuesday night. So that's what we're going to be keeping our eye on, even though as for right now, we do have a winter weather advisory for our friends into the northwest until Monday morning. But for us, we're not going to be seeing much of that until we get into the later part of today. But what we're going to be keeping our eye on again is Tuesdays. We're looking at snow to be light and really just be hitting us throughout the course of our Tuesday going into our nighttime as well. We are looking for uh, the range of snow to be about an inch to two inches into southern Dane County, uh, southern Wisconsin and Dane County as well. Could potentially be even seeing three inches. So that's one thing we're going to be looking at before today. We are going to be seeing about 38 degrees. It's going to be quiet, mostly cloudy conditions as well, but we'll have an update on what else to expect coming up in a few moments. Until then, back to you, Lane. Julian, thank you. New this morning, fire destroyed a mobile home and several buildings in Sauk County Christmas afternoon. It started as a brush fire on County Highway U, northeast of Baraboo, around 4.45 p.m. More than a dozen departments responded to the scene. Baraboo Fire says there were gas tanks and flammable liquid containers inside the buildings. Those actually exploded, making the fire worse. Thankfully, no one was hurt, including the firefighters. DNR and Sauk County Sheriff's Department are helping figure out what caused the brush fire, but the Baraboo Fire Department does not believe it is suspicious. Well, the election itself is still nearly three years away, but President Biden says he's game for a rematch with Donald Trump in 2024. In an interview this week with ABC News, the president says he plans on being on the ballot again, especially if it means a chance to go head to head with number 45. Do you plan to run for re-election? Yes, but look, I'm a great respecter of fate. Fate has intervened in my life many, many times. If I'm in the health I'm in now, if I'm in good health, then in fact, I would run again. And if that means a rematch against Donald Trump? You're trying to tempt me now. <laughs> sure. Why would I not run against Donald Trump for the nominee? That would increase the prospect of running. How about this for a Christmas miracle? Earlier this week, the two men actually complimented each other. President Biden praised the fact Trump got his COVID booster shot, and Trump told Fox News he appreciated Biden's praise. Well, meanwhile, we're learning more about this morning about the battle between police and rioters at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. Jessica Schneider shows us the new graphic video the Justice Department just released. A three-hour video just released by the Justice Department after CNN and other outlets sued for access shows one of the most violent and prolonged battles between Capitol Police and the pro-Trump mob. The video, taken from a Capitol security camera on the Lower West Terrace, does not have sound, but it shows how dozens of rioters moved in on Capitol Police, spraying the cops who stood guard with pepper spray, pointing strobing flashlights at them, striking them with batons and flagpoles. More than an hour in, when police push back, you can see a helmet knocked off of one officer's head. The video release comes as the House Committee investigating January 6th prepares to ramp up its probe in the new year. Chairman Benny Thompson tells the Washington Post he's focusing on then-President Trump's actions, zeroing in on this video he released 187 minutes after the riot began. You have to go home now. Thompson telling the Post it appears that he tried to do a taping several times, but he wouldn't say the right thing. Thompson now saying Trump's delayed response could be a factor in deciding whether to make a criminal referral, possibly for obstructing the Electoral College proceedings, and that other Trump officials could also face referrals for pressuring local and state election officials to overturn the results. 
the men and women of the New York City Police Department. Former New York City Police Commissioner and Trump ally Bernie Carrick is saying any cooperation he provides to the committee must be made public. Carrick now says he'll post subpoena documents online and that he wants to testify at a public hearing. Carrick worked alongside Trump's former attorney Rudy Giuliani after the election to discredit the results and attended a meeting at the Willard Hotel with other Trump allies on January 5th to discuss how to keep Trump in office. Meanwhile, committee member Pete Aguilar says they hope the Supreme Court acts fast to rule on releasing documents from Trump's White House. So the courts have already ruled in our favor. Uh, our anticipation is that the Supreme Court uh, will uphold uh, that ruling in an expedited manner. No word on how quickly the Supreme Court will decide. And new today, Rudy Giuliani is being sued by two election workers in Georgia. They say his false claims after the election led to hundreds of threatening emails, texts, and phone calls. 703 on this Sunday morning, we are continuing coverage of this week's shooting at a suburban Chicago mall. Oakbrook Center Mall is closed today, but it was actually open yesterday, less than 24 hours after four people were shot. Some stores like H&M did stay closed. Managers there wanted to give their their employees a break. Police say they have two people under arrest, but they're still looking for another man. All four people who were shot are expected to be okay. Oh, we already told you this morning about how yesterday marked one year since an explosion rocked downtown Nashville on Christmas Day. At least eight people were hurt and more than 40 buildings were damaged. And while donations poured in after the bombing, some people say they still need help to financially recover. 911, what is the address of your emergency? It is at 2nd Avenue and I believe Church of Commerce Street. I had about 50 text messages. We have a recording out here saying there's a limited time to evacuate this area. It's phone calls. There was just a massive explosion downtown with a huge fireball. And they all said the same thing. Are you okay? Ashley Bergeron wasn't home when the bomb went off. She has an apartment, which also serves as an art gallery on 3rd Avenue. This is what it looked like when she returned days later. I was in shock. I mean, I was in the true form of, of trauma shock. Almost a year later, she's still feeling the impact. A year later, I'm still not in my home. I still am not in my gallery. But why is that? Especially when donations started rolling in immediately. News 4 Investigates wanted to know just how much has been donated. And here's what we found out. $950,000 was given to the United Way and the Community Foundation. That's on top of a $2 million grant. All money meant to help people like Ashley pay their bills. She received a little over $3,200 that helped pay for things like her mortgage and utility bills. And those bills haven't gone away. But now that it's been almost a year, I'm now realizing, oh wow, okay. I'm gonna need to ask for some more support. And if you think all that support is gone, you're wrong. Catholic Charities of Tennessee is in charge of doling out the donated money. What we try to do is take care of the most immediate needs. But a year later, and we found out they're still sitting on $100,000. Money that could be going to people like Ashley who still have those same needs, paying rent for one place and a mortgage on another. Why do you still have that money when there's people out there who really could use it? If someone were to come forward now with additional expenses, all of those would be considered. Right now, Catholic Charities is working with 25 people, but they say they want more people like Ashley to come forward. But what we're also seeing is this need for mental health support. While counseling is something Ashley says she could certainly benefit from, money to help pay the extra bill she still has is just as important. Um, so I, I've been feeling lately really ungrounded. Anyone who is still looking for help after the Christmas Day bombing should reach out to Catholic Charities. Catholic Charities hopes to receive another million dollar grant to pay for staff and for counseling. Well, NASA's most expensive telescope ever is on its way up into space. Up next, what NASA hopes to actually see with it. Right now, a much closer sighting. You're looking live at Wisconsin State Capitol. Julian's tracking your forecast with an alert day on the way. Just ahead. Associated Physicians here, so we're gonna dive right in. It's been quite a year, and we're guessing that means you've been putting everyone else above yourself. So now we're here to remind you to schedule your annual appointments and put your health and well being first. Our OBGYN doctors get it, and we are here, as always, to take care of you. Schedule your annual appointment today 608 233 9746. 
Associated Physicians, 75 years of caring, helping, and listening. Visit us at apmadison.com. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. One call, that's all means that you call Gruber Law Offices and your case is handled. You don't have to worry about anything anymore. As soon as you make that call, you're going to have somebody on your side. They're going to give you all the information that you need to know. They're going to make sure that you're feeling secure about everything in the process. It's a phrase we'll never forget. Injured? Call Gruber Law Offices today. One call, that's all. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. It's the final days of the Ford Get Holiday Ready sales event. Your last chance to get the best deals of the year on Ford F-Series, America's number one selling trucks for 44 years straight. Only a few more days to save on our full lineup of Ford SUVs. Hurry in. It's the final days of the Ford Get Holiday Ready sales event. Now get an Explorer with 0% financing for 60 months plus 500 bonus cash. See your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers today. Consumer Cellular has the best customer service. They care about the customer. The best price with the best quality. The prices, the coverage. The coverage is great. It was the same, if not better. Consumer Cellular provides the exact same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Switch to Consumer Cellular and get talk, text, and data starting at just $20 a month. It's like four scoops of ice cream for the price of one. Switch today and get $100 on every new line. Call or go online. An alert day is in the forecast for us, and so we're going to dive right in. This is what we're going to be expecting from Tuesday to Tuesday night is where we have the alert day in place. And that's because we're looking at a wintry mix for light snow, freezing rain, and rain to mix with snow from Tuesday afternoon into our Tuesday night. And it could be accumulating about an inch to three inches possibly for southern Wisconsin. But for today, we do have a winter weather advisory in effect for our friends into the northwest until Monday morning. So things are going to be quiet for us overall here in southern Wisconsin, but the systems which are really potent over into the west are going to make their way into the upper midwest and bringing us some wintry conditions as we get into our last week of december for today however this is what we're going to be seeing going into our tuesday we're looking at snow to really start off as soon as we get into the afternoon temperatures are going to be around the freezing point but we're looking at snow throughout the afternoon into our evening hours and won't be clearing out until we get into our nightly time but around that time we're also looking at our accumulations to be about an to two inches could potentially see those three inches of snow as well when it's all said and done. However, for today, we're going to be quiet, not going to be seeing much of anything until we get into the later part of the afternoon. That's when cloud cover is going to develop, move in, and we're seeing those temperatures top out into those upper 30s. But then as we go into tonight's, so we're looking for some snow to start to roll in from the southwest and even mixing in as well as we're still going to be above the freezing point. So we're looking at that mixture to stick around, especially as we get into our early Monday morning. Morning. So overnight hours, we're going to be looking at some rain and even some mixes that won't be clearing out until we get into about our main morning commute for us. Then we're going to be starting to quiet back out as we head into the rest of our Monday, but we're looking not too much of accumulating snow for even overnights going into our Monday morning. Potentially going to be less than an inch is possible for us here in southern Wisconsin. But the one thing we are going to be keeping an eye on is not just the alert day for our Tuesday or even for just Monday, but we are going to be seeing temperatures still holding above seasonable 
for the most part until we get into our Wednesday. Then we're going to trend back to more colder temperatures into those 20s right before we head into the new year. But we are going to be keeping our eye on throughout tonight and going into our Tuesday for seeing some of those mixtures because it's going to be making things a bit slippery and slick, especially as we get into the second part or the second day of next week. But one thing we're going to keep an eye on, Lane. And some colder temperatures for New Year's as well. Absolutely. Julian, thank you. Well, the name Webb may replace Hubble as the most well-known space telescope. NASA launched the James Webb Telescope yesterday morning. It cost $10 billion, but if all goes well, the images and information we gather may be priceless. Here's CBS's Mark Strassman. From its perch a million miles beyond Earth, the James Webb Space Telescope will glimpse the dawn of time like nothing before it. The universe is this 13.8 billion year story, and we're missing some key paragraphs in the very first chapter. NASA astrophysicist Amber Strawn hopes Webb's discoveries will fill in the blanks. We will hopefully be able to see those first galaxies for the very first time. And of course, galaxies are the homes of stars, and stars are the homes of planets, and planets, of course, are the homes of life. And so this telescope is definitely going to be our next giant leap in our search for habitable planets in our galaxy. Webb's 18 gold-plated hexagonal shaped mirrors will align to create one giant mirror. It's 21 feet across, six times larger than the one on the Hubble Space Telescope. For more than three decades, Hubble has given us stunning, humbling views of the universe. But Webb will be a major upgrade. Like a night vision camera, this infrared telescope will search for heat signatures of the very first light after the Big Bang. We're looking for some of the faintest objects that there are to see in the universe. In fact, we are looking for the faintest objects. If the telescope doesn't get cold, then it will actually glow brighter than the objects we're looking for. To block the sun's heat from blinding web, engineers designed a first-of-its-kind sun shield the size of a tennis court. Its five layers will keep the telescope side more than 600 degrees colder than the sun-facing side. This is material, this is Kapton material that makes up the layers of the sun shield. This material here is about two thousandths of an inch thick. And because that sun shield is so big, it and everything else had to fold up to fit inside the rocket. Once in space, Webb will carefully unfold and rebuild itself like robotic origami. Project manager Bill Oakes. It's more complex than any satellite NASA's ever launched. It, it is hands down. The complexities of its deployment, the materials that it's been made of, has never been tried by a NASA mission before. If any one of 344 parts fail, the entire mission could be jeopardized. About one-third involved deploying that sun shield, 1,300 feet of cables, almost 600 pulley assemblies, and it all has to work. A million miles out, something goes wrong, there's no call in AAA. No, but I am confident that we did everything we could on the ground to maximize the probability of success of this mission. Webb's first image is about six months away. Worth the wait for the chance to see baby pictures of the universe. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Greenbelt, Maryland. Can't wait to see them. That is fascinating. Well, Christmas music doesn't need to stop just because the holiday is now past, at least not as far as we're concerned. Some more holiday spirit for you is on the way on News 3 Now this morning. Celebrating the people you love? Mixing up smiles? Making each day brighter than the last? At Alliant Energy, we bring more clean, renewable energy to our customers every single day to power what matters to you. Because even during the most powerful moments in our lives, we're not thinking about power. We're thinking about each other. Alliant Energy. Powering beyond. Chevy is taking people lots of places this holiday. We're going swimming! We're going to find the perfect tree. We're going to Nana. Let your Chevy dealer take you there with Chevy Red Tags, where the price you see is the price you pay. Happy holiday from Chevy. Find new places, find new roads. Or find your Red Tag and you may qualify for $500 bonus cash on all Silverado Crew Cab pickups. That's on top of most other offers. New models are arriving weekly. Secure yours today. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. You know what I'm going to miss most about space? 
What's that? How easy it is to keep up my saving habit. There's nothing to buy up here. We're making it easier to save on Earth, too. When you open a savings builder account at BMO Harris, you can get a cash reward for every month you save. Anything to help launch my savings? Sure. When you open a checking account, we'll give you $200 to kickstart your savings progress. $200 and a monthly savings reward. It's a way to save that won't weigh you down. <laughs> It's a little space humor. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. You've heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but you still need to see your dentist because getting good dental care is important to your overall health. You know dental bills can take a big bite out of your budget, especially if you're retired or on Medicare. Even a simple cleaning can cost $200 and other procedures like crowns and root canals can cost hundreds, even thousands more. But affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company can help. Give us a call or go online for this free information kit with all the details. This isn't just a discount plan. This is real dental insurance that can help pay for over 350 covered procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, even dentures. There are no deductibles, no annual maximum, and you can see any dentist you like. So don't wait. Call now or go online for your free information kit from Physicians Mutual. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. We're waking up to a beautiful sunrise here on our Sunday morning post Christmas, but temperatures are definitely feeling very chilly. 18 degrees as of right now here in Madison, clear conditions, however, but one thing we're going to be keeping an eye on is not just what's happening this morning or this afternoon, but what we're going to be expecting tonight. Cloud cover is going to be rolling in for us late, and then we're going to be seeing some snow and some mixy conditions as we go into our Sunday nights, carrying into our Monday morning. Could make our commute quite an ugly one to start off the new work week. Now, as we take a look, we are going to be just seeing accumulations of about an inch or even less for us here in southern Wisconsin. But since we are going to be seeing some of those uh, wintry conditions later on, it's going to be making travel delays quite impacted as we get into the later part of today. So make sure that you plan ahead and get home as soon as you can. Back to you, Lane. Julian, thank you. Well, one of the joys of this time of year is the sounds of the season. And because we have a bonus day today before returning to Reality Monday, we are featuring Jared Stelmacher this morning. He's the director of music at Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Madison. Here's his rendition of God Yet Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen.
Jared Selmacher. Merry Christmas, everybody. Well, no rest for Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Up next on News 3 this morning, we'll take you out to Lambeau Field, where the King of the North is now the King of the Packers record books. Stay with us. At A1 Furniture and Mattress, you'll find a huge inventory of in-stock furniture available for immediate pickup or delivery. Plus, quality name brand mattresses you can try before you buy. Only at A1 Furniture and Mattress. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. Hello, I'm Roman Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. As a locally owned and operated funeral home, it's important to know that not all funeral homes are the same. Some other Madison area funeral homes are actually owned by corporations based outside of the United States. A corporately owned funeral home is focused on the bottom line, making services more costly. We have served local families for more than 80 years, and our priority is investing in the community and your family. In your time of need, Ryan Funeral Homes are here for you. We can't all be morning people, but we can all eat McDonald's for breakfast. Enjoy a savory bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit and pair it with a $1 any size Dr. Pepper. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It's the final days of the Ford Get Holiday Ready sales event. Your last chance to get the best deals of the year on Ford F-Series. America's number one selling trucks for 44 years straight. Only a few more days to save on our full lineup of Ford SUVs. Hurry in. It's the final days of the Ford Get Holiday Ready sales event. Now get an Explorer with 0% financing for 60 months plus 500 bonus cash. See your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers today are doubly important this year. So make your celebrations doubly special with our award-winning cave-aged Murray's Cheese. Pick and save. Prep. Hey, you're right, we can't stop now. Let's take the special up a level with fresh, never frozen prime beef. Still not special enough? Add some surf to that turf with our sustainably caught seafood. Turn your taste buds up to 11 and have a doubly special holiday with Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Away from your TV? Not a problem. Get breaking news, weather alerts, and political coverage from the award-winning News 3 Now team. Plus, all things Madison. Stay connected anywhere with Channel 3000. Madison's number one digital news source. At A1 Furniture and Mattress, you'll find a huge inventory of in-stock furniture available for immediate pickup or delivery. Plus, quality name brand mattresses you can try before you buy. Only at A1 Furniture and Mattress. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. News 3 Now's call for action team advocates for you. Getting through when you can't. We hear comments like, oh, thank you for listening. Oh, nobody cared. Asking the right questions. Your customers are so frustrated. <laughs> yeah. You hope to make that right. And getting results. They sent a water heater the next day after you told me you made the call. When you're getting nowhere, we have the team and the resources to get answers. Call for action. Only on News 3 Now. We're taking action for you. Right now, a record-setting day for Rodgers. Number 12 making history, helping the pack get win number 12. And an alert day is in the forecast, so we're going to take a look at what the details are coming up. Good Sunday morning. Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining us for News 3 Now this morning. I'm Lane Kimball. McKenna is off today. Well, a reasonably sunny start to the day, but changes on the way. And Julian, not just today, but in a couple of days, too, could see some snow. That's right. We are looking finally for some wintry conditions that are going to be accumulating snow for us, which is prompting an alert day. Now, today we are going to be looking at plenty of sunshine until the later part of the evening. Then cloud cover will roll in, but we're keeping our eye on Tuesday and Tuesday nights. Why? Because we are looking for a wintry mix with light snow that could be accumulating to about an inch to three inches possibly for us here in southern Wisconsin. Again, for today, we are going to be seeing some kind of activity as we get into the later part of Sunday as we have a winter weather advisory for our friends into the north and northwest until Monday morning. And why we are starting to see because of the systems that are potent going to be bringing in plenty of moisture for us that will start to roll its way into the upper Midwest, shaking things up for the next couple of days. So we are going to be looking quiet. There's going to be plenty of sunshine. If you're going to do any traveling for today, definitely do it before we get into the evening. So that's when we're going to start to see messy conditions rolling in with snow and wintry mixes coming in throughout the night and going into our Monday morning as well. We're going to be keeping an eye on this and provide more details throughout the rest of the morning. But until then, let's toss it back to you, Lane. 
Julian, thank you. New this morning, fire destroyed a mobile home and several buildings in Sauk County Christmas afternoon. It all started as a brush fire on County Highway U that's northeast of Baraboo around 4.45 p.m. More than a dozen departments all responded to the scene. Baraboo Fire says there were gas tanks and flammable liquid containers inside the buildings. Those exploded, making the fire worse. Thankfully, no one was hurt, though, including the firefighters. DNR and Sauk County Sheriff's Department are helping figure out what caused the brush fire, but the Baraboo Fire Department does not believe it's suspicious. Well, check this out. A massive pileup shut down parts of I-94 for the second time in three days. Yesterday's crashes happened near Ashby, Minnesota. It's northwest of the Twin Cities. Minnesota State Patrol says several semi-trucks, dozens of cars all ended up in that mess. Haven't been any reports, though, of deaths or serious injuries. Now, this comes on the heels of a massive pileup on I-94 here in Wisconsin. On Thursday, at least a dozen people were hurt when more than 50 50 cars and semi trucks crashed on I-94 in Jackson County. Freezing rain caused icy conditions on hills in that part of the state. I-94 reopened on Thursday night. With some chances for snow, make sure you know the road conditions before you head out the door and get into your car. Download our Channel 3000 weather app. It is free and available in the App Store. Hey, 12. Congratulations, man, on passing my touchdown record. I have one request. Go get us another Super Bowl. How about that? A tip of the cap from the old gunslinger Aaron Rodgers surpassing Brett Favre's team touchdown record yesterday afternoon. Didn't take Rodgers very long to do it. No, coming into the game against the Browns, number 12 just needed one touchdown to hit 443. Here it is, Alan Lazard, about the 513 mark in the first quarter. Etching his name into green and gold history, Lazard lunging in from 11 yards out. Rodgers celebrating with his O-line, patchwork O-line. And Rodgers, he wasn't done either. No, he found Devontae Adams not once, but twice in the second quarter. And hey, how about another record to go by the wayside? They now have the most touchdown connections between quarterback and wide receiver in Packers history. This is a special place, and to be a part of history like this is not lost on me at all and there was part of me was glad we got it over with and now you know hopefully we get Devontae a touchdown so we can get his record but but in that moment I was uh, I was 100 percent present and and really grateful for uh, all my years here and, and the response from the fans. First round pick in Nothing but love from the fans. Rodgers' accomplishment yesterday got us thinking who's actually better Aaron Rodgers or Brett Favre? Well, let's leave the question up to you. We have a poll on channel3000.com. So far, A-Rod doing pretty well, 57% to 43%. Again, vote at channel3000.com. In our coronavirus headlines, COVID numbers here in Wisconsin are trending in the wrong direction. It's been this way for a while. For the first time since last winter, statewide activity level of COVID is critically high. The most recent data from Friday, the state is averaging more than 3,500 new cases each day over the past week. Percent positive average is also above 14%. From records we're excited to talk about to near record breaking activity that's extremely concerning for health care workers. Again, those COVID numbers trending in the wrong direction. Meanwhile, thousands of people trying to get in for tests around the area. And uh, we're told that some places in Dane County uh, have waits starting on the 29th, even the 30th, just to get a COVID test. You're encouraged by doctors to get a COVID test if you're gathering with family or friends for the upcoming holidays. Well, COVID prevented thousands of people from making it home for the holidays, at least making it home on time, with many flights canceled due to those spiking cases. And testing sites, they weren't just busy in Wisconsin. No nationwide people waited in line, hoping to gather safely. CBS News' Elise Preston has more. I'd like to let my family know that no matter where I am, no matter how far away I am from all of you, that my heart is always with you. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station sent Christmas messages to friends and family back home. Holy night. In Virginia and across the nation, there was caroling. But even with the festivities, it's hard to forget that it's yet another Christmas the world is battling COVID-19. 
With more flights canceled Saturday, staffing issues tied to the virus are disrupting travel during one of the busiest times of the year. And as the highly contagious Omicron variant now detected in every state spreads, many travelers are mindful of health and safety. It definitely is, you know, especially going home and having at-risk at -risk siblings. So it's definitely something that I am worried about. We've been very big on, on masks and stuff. She's too young to get vaccinated. So um, it's obviously a worry. About two years into the pandemic, many church services, like the ones being held here at New York's Cathedral of St. John the Divine, are being held online. Jill and I know how hard it is for you. But at the White House, President Biden and the First Lady met virtually with U.S. military members serving around the world to wish them a Merry Christmas. As your commander in chief, I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you, thank you, thank you. President Biden and the First Lady also attended church services virtually Friday from the East Room of the White House. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. Well, we know how much the people of Kentucky have been through this month, battling a surge of COVID cases and then those deadly tornadoes. But the community of Mayfield is coming together this weekend to celebrate Christmas. Two congregations, their buildings destroyed, had a joint Christmas Eve service. They all sang Silent Night together. More than 70 people were killed due to those tornadoes. And a reminder this morning to be careful with your Christmas tree. Three people in Pennsylvania were killed yesterday after their tree started on fire. Police say two people were rescued from the house, which you can see was badly damaged. A GoFundMe page for the family has already raised more than $150,000. A family in our area is getting the gift of a lifetime this Christmas, a home valued at a half million dollars. Tahalil Mohadeen was there as it happened, as they saw it for the first time and shares how the family is settling in. It looks like a model home. It looks like a magazine home, but I'm like, this is my house? Like, we live here? When Dwayne Malone saw his home for the first time, it brought tears to his eyes. I was trying to hold back. <laughs> Because I've seen this happen over and over to people, you know, but I guess when it happens, when it hits home, it's different, you know. The half a million dollar home, a Christmas gift from the Boys and Girls Club to their longtime employee. He works too much. I mean, here's a guy, he's 53 years old, work 11, 12 hours a day. Um, he is just one of the hardest working people I've ever met. A hard worker, husband and father who loves bringing joy to others. Well, my mom had a lot of kids, and that's what we always did, help other people out, do this, do that, and I didn't have time for myself, so I guess it's, it just grew on me from that point on. His wife, Tina, is so proud to see her husband's efforts appreciated. All the time, all the effort, you know, even on holidays or birthdays, sometimes he, he couldn't be there, and I see why, you know, and, and he, he helps so many people. And their son, DJ, ready to move in. DJ already, you know, he ran upstairs and he found his room, so he knew which one was his and he's ready to sleep in it today. As to what the family's looking forward to the most in the new house, that's still up for debate. Cooking. I can't wait to test out the kitchen. <laughs> I really don't want to mess the stove up or none of that stuff. I really don't want to do no cooking in this house until like end of January. You know? But one thing's for certain, for the Malones, this Christmas will be one to remember. To Halil Mohadeen reporting. Well, in keeping with the giving spirit, since the house was move-in ready, the family plans to donate all of their old furniture to charity. Stay with us, 737 on this Sunday morning. We'll be right back. How much does it cost to talk to Gruber Lofts after a serious accident? It's free. Yes, free, as in it won't cost you anything to speak with us. There's never a fee until we win your case. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Hey, guys. Hey, Dad. You ready? This holiday, U.S. Cellular is doing a little something extra to keep everyone connected. Right now, choose any phone from any brand at any of our stores for free. Plus, save big with unlimited data for our best price of the season, just $30 a month. Now that's a deal to cheer about. Feel the locally grown joy from U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Oh, oh, mm -mm. It's Santa. We got a problem. you do 
you before you go to bed. But we can make sure the sleep is solid once you finally get there. And during the New Year's Super Sale at Denver Mattress, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Or purchase a Tempur-Pedic and get a $300 gift. Check out the Summit Firm for only $249.99, plus five years no interest and free shipping. Here's to 365 nights of better sleep. Happy New Year from Denver Mattress. When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's working hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. There's been much debate about the Mona Lisa smile. Would it have been bigger and brighter if she'd had good dental care? Maybe if Physicians Mutual Insurance Company had been around back then, it'd be a different story. She could have gone to the dentist more, knowing she'd have help paying the bills. And those regular checkups might have found early signs of tooth decay or gum disease, costly problems that could keep anyone from smiling. Physicians Mutual offers affordable coverage that can help pay for cleanings and unexpected or expensive procedures you might need, like crowns or dentures. This is real dental insurance, not just a discount plan or for checkups only. There are no deductibles and there's no annual maximum. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Call or go online today for a free information kit from Physicians Mutual. Get the dental care you need to help you stay healthy. For your free information kit with all the details, call us now or go to sendinfokit.com. After a serious accident, you'll need a winning team to protect your rights. Trust Wisconsin's own Gruber Law Offices. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of your world champion, Milwaukee Bucks. Taking a quick look at our current conditions as the sun is continuing to rise here on our Sunday morning here in Madison. Folks, we are looking at a chilly start to our Sunday. 18 degrees as of right now, but it is on the quieter side and plenty of clear conditions as well. But planning out the rest of the day, just know we're going to stay quiet until the evening hours where we're going to start to see that system rolling in to making things a bit on the messier side. Timing things out around lunchtime, we're not going to be seeing much action at all until we get into the evening. Then that system is going to roll in, bringing in snow, winter tree mixes and even rainfall across the overnight hours into southern Wisconsin. And so just know going into our morning commute from Monday may be on the messy side, but we're not looking for much about less than an inch as possible. But in terms of traveling, make sure that you get it in early this uh, afternoon because we are looking for some impacts going into the later part of today. Over to you, Lane. Not nearly enough green on that map, Julian. Thank you. Well, music can calm even the most hectic of places. That's the thought behind the pianos inside a very busy U.S. airport. Josh Whitston takes us inside Denver International for a listen. On one of the busiest travel days of the year, Picking up Nana from Indianapolis. If you just stop and listen, oh, you just hear like wheels squeaking and, and people walking around and just like the the buzz of voices in the background. Not those sounds. This sound. Being a traveler myself, I know how numb you can get from hauling the suitcases, looking at the boards, going from point A to point B, and really not feeling it. So over the holiday, Danny Showers is here, doing what he does best. Providing dynamic entertainment for the travelers. People re respond so favorably to playing the music, the Christmas music and everything. Walked in and saw the Christmas decorations, then we were able to kind of enjoy um, the atmosphere a little bit more. We've got a live performance, which you don't see all the time anymore. Five hours a day for 10 days, Danny Showers and other pianists have been playing for some of their largest audiences. Just with the time phrase that why we're doing this, it comes out to be uh, approximately 1.4 million people that's traveling through this main part here. That's 1.4 million strangers to entertain. Entertainment to me comes from the heart, okay? And it's generated through the body and it comes out on the fingers. The sounds of the season at the busiest place this season. If you just stop and listen. Every song they applaud. 
That's, that's better than any paycheck. making travel a little bit more pleasant. Well, you don't need to take down the Christmas tree just yet, but is it time to consider doing something else when you do take it down? We'll find out up next. Right now, a live look over the Capitol. A beautiful sunrise is getting started on this Sunday. Julian's tracking your forecast with an alert day. Stay with us. Trust the First Warn Weather Team for your most accurate forecast. Some days, you just don't have it. Not my uncle, though. He's taking Trulicity for his type 2 diabetes, and now he's really on his game. Once weekly, Trulicity lowers your A1C by helping your body release the insulin it's already making. Most people reached an A1C under 7%. Plus, Trulicity can lower your risk of cardiovascular events. It can also help you lose up to 10 pounds. Trulicity is for type 2 diabetes. It isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. It's not approved for use in children. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, changes in vision, or diabetic retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. Show your world what's truly inside. Ask your doctor about once weekly Trulicity. Don't settle for products that give you a sort of white smile. Try Crest Whitening Emulsion for 100% whiter teeth. It's highly active peroxide droplets. Swipe on in seconds. Better. Faster. 100% whiter teeth. Shop CrestWhiteSmile.com Hello, how can I... Sore throat pain? Honey Lemon! Try Vicks Vapor Cool Drops in Honey Lemon Chill for fast-acting sore throat relief. <sighs> Woo! Vaporize sore throat pain with Vicks Vapor Cool Drops. Cunol turmeric supports healthy joints and inflammation response. Unlike regular turmeric, Cunol's superior absorption helps you get the full benefits of turmeric. Cunol, the better turmeric. Consuma Cellular has the best customer service. They care about the customer. The best price with the best quality. The prices, the coverage. The coverage is great. It was the same, if not better. Consumer Cellular provides the exact same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Switch to Consumer Cellular and get talk, text, and data starting at just $20 a month. It's like four scoops of ice cream for the price of one. Switch today and get $100 on every new line. Call or go online. RHD Plumbing presents their Titletown Winter Getaway Contest. Win a two-night stay in Green Bay's Titletown, including food, drink, and entertainment gift cards. Visit the contest page on channel3000.com and enter today. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. We're going to dive right in as we have an alert day in our forecast for Tuesday into Tuesday night for a wintry mix, light snow, freezing rain and rain mixing to snow at night, which is going to be accumulating some snow of an inch to three inches possibly for areas in southern Wisconsin. Even though for today, we do have a wintry weather advisory in effect for our friends into the northwest until Monday morning. But for us, we are going to be seeing some changes as these potent systems from the west are going to be already bringing plenty of snow into our friends in the mountain west are going to bring some of the similar conditions to us into the upper Midwest as we get into the rest of today and going into our Tuesday as well. But for right now, just know going into the afternoon, we're looking at quiet conditions. Then the clouds will start to blanket much of our skies going into our evening hours around dinner time. And as we're getting ready for bed, that's where we're going to start to see some snowfall rolling in from the southwest. And then that mix will be coming in as well as we get into the later part of tonight. That will transition into our Monday morning. So as we're getting into our commute, just know it's going to be on the messier side, even though it's going to start to fizzle out as we get into the back end of our Monday morning going towards our Monday afternoon. And we're looking for a warm up as well into unseasonably lower 40s. However, in terms of accumulations, it's going to be less than an inch for southern Wisconsin that we're going to be seeing. But just know that if you're going to be doing any kind of traveling for today, make sure you do it pretty early because we are going to be seeing impacts heavy as we get into our Sunday evening and for Sunday night as well. Now, one other thing we're going to keep an eye on is the alert day for Tuesday. 
Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon, we're going to start to see some snow rolling in, and it's going to be snowing throughout the entirety of our Tuesday afternoon and evening as well until it fizzles out going into our Tuesday nights. We are looking for a range between one to three inches of snow, especially for southern Wisconsin, but we are going to be looking at accumulating snow for us, which is what we're going to be looking at moving in for over the next few hours. Now, as we take a look through the three things we're going to need to know, just know the above average temperatures are going to stick around until about Tuesday, which is why we're seeing those mixtures. But then once we hit those freezing points, that's where we're looking at plenty of snowfall to go into our Tuesday, especially going to be accumulating because it's close to about two to three inches. Then afterwards, we are going to be quiet again. But it is going to be on the colder side as we get into the new year. And that's what we're going to be seeing that transition of a roller coaster from Sunday into our Tuesday. And then afterwards, we're going to be steady into those 20s. Heading into the new year, we're ringing in the cold with a chance of some snow going into our Saturday. Over to you, Lane. Looking at that tree in your living room today and mentally preparing it to lug it to the curb or stuff it back into a box. But are there new ways that you could get rid of those trees? While people overseas are, they are returning them. Roxana Saberi explains. At Primrose Vale Farm in England, this Christmas tree has waited all year to reunite with Dee Campling. For the second year in a row, the interior designer is renting the living potted tree for around $60. Why did you want to get a rental Christmas tree? Every year I hate seeing the used Christmas trees left on the side of the road. People just dump them. It seems that renting a tree is the most environmentally friendly way of celebrating Christmas. Environmentalists say a chopped tree can leave a heavy carbon footprint unless it's recycled, and that plastic trees can be even worse. That's one reason rental trees are a growing trend in the UK. Manager Paul Keane says nearly all of his farm's 1,000 firs and spruces for rent were reserved long before Christmas. I think people love the idea of keeping a tree alive, uh, of not killing it for Christmas. After Christmas, the rental trees will be brought back here. They'll be replanted in these pots in the ground where they'll live to see another Christmas. That's what Campling plans to do, decking her halls year after year with the same tree. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, Gloucestershire, England. Don't have to take it down just yet, though. And a reminder, make News 3 part of your weekly routine by downloading our Channel 3000 app for the latest news and weather conditions. Well, you would be hard-pressed to find a Christmas tree with more meaning than this one this holiday season. That story and a final check of your forecast are next. Where the more you buy, the more you save. <laughs> save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend. Or check out the Summit Firm for only $249.99. Plus five years no interest and free shipping. Happy New Year from Denver Mattress. Welcome to the lifestyles of the smart and savvy. Today, the Coopers are a cost-conscious couple. But back in the day, not so much. Now, saving is more their style, which is why they chose Consumer Cellular. They get the same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Imagine talk, text, and data starting at $20 a month. And award-winning customer service. Switch to Consumer Cellular today and get $100. When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's working hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. You've heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but you still need to see your dentist because getting good dental care is important to your overall health. You know dental bills can take a big bite out of your budget, especially if you're retired or on Medicare. Even a simple cleaning can cost $200, and other procedures like crowns and root canals can cost hundreds, even thousands more. But affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company can help. Give us a call or go online for this free information kit with all the details. This isn't just a discount plan. This is real dental insurance that can help pay for over 350 covered procedures, like cleanings, fillings, crowns, even dentures. There are no deductibles no annual maximum, and you can see any dentist you like. So don't wait. Call now or go online for your free information kit from Physicians Mutual. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. 
News 3 Now's call for action has settled hundreds of area consumer disputes, but we can't do it without our dedicated team of volunteers. Would you like to join us? Contact Call for Action by phone or visit channel3000.com to fill out an application now. It's the New Year Super Sale at Denver Mattress, where the more you buy, the more you save. Boo! Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Or check out the Summit Firm for only $249.99. Plus five years no interest and free shipping. Happy New Year from Denver Mattress. Wisconsin Politics 2021. What genuinely surprised you this year? News 3 Now's Naomi Coles leads a panel of state political journalists to help make sense of a chaotic year and preview what's to come in 2022, starting Wednesday at 6. Last Friday, you helped make our Tornado Relief Telethon a success. You donated over $75,000 to our neighbors to the south. From the bottom of my heart, the American Red Cross, and from all of us here at News 3 Now, we say thank you. Before we go this morning, a weekend of gathering around the tree meant a little bit more to a father in small town Minnesota. WCCO's John Lauritsen shows us how a special tree has become a symbol of love. This is a well orchestrated uh, decorating process. Driving by, you can't help but notice the giant Black Hill Spruce on Highcroft Road. It's absolutely kind of the sparkle in the middle of the heart of the neighborhood. At night when I'm coming home from work, I usually come, come the long way and specifically just to drive by the tree. The man behind the tree's 40,000 plus lights is David Gigrich. I actually bought scaffolding this year to put the lights on and have to use a boom lift to get the star on the top. And quite frankly, I spend about three weeks putting the lights on this tree and, and it's the most exhausting yet exhilarating three weeks of the year for me. There's a good reason for that. David doesn't feel alone when he's decorating. He feels like his son Duncan is right there with him. The best part of Duncan and everybody who would ever talk about him, it would be his heart and his warm smile and his big laugh. Three years ago, Duncan's life was cut short when he was killed in a car accident. He was just 19 years old. For David, the grief was almost unbearable, especially during the holidays. As a way to honor Duncan's life, the neighborhood bought his family a memorial tree. And we went to a tree farm and literally walked over a hill and it was almost that ta-da moment. There was the tree. And over the past couple of years, it's doubled in size from 15 feet to now 30. That means more lights and more work, which David is just fine with. As my oldest son said when he saw the tree the first time, he said that tree even looks like Duncan. It's big and strong and burly and beautiful. People who don't know the backstory will stop by and take pictures. But for the neighborhood, it's so much more. A reminder that life is precious. This brings us all close together. It's just uh, an extremely, uh, the, the tree is a teaching moment, right, for our for our kids. In turn, the neighborhood has helped David deal with his loss. Three, Three two, two, one. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> it's proof that no matter what, the love a father has for his son will never stop shining. We wanted people to understand what's behind the lights. And it's not just a big, bright, beautiful tree. It's, it's really the spirit of Duncan. John Lordson, CBS News. Final check of your forecast, Julie. That's right. We are going to be keeping an eye on everything for the next couple of days because we have an alert day in the forecast for Tuesday into Tuesday nights. So nights we will be seeing some mixtures as well that could make our commute for Monday a bit messy. So, so keep your eye on that and also stay tuned in for us throughout the rest of the weekend and going into our Monday as well. So we'll keep you up to date on the current conditions and what else to watch for. But after Tuesday, we're going to be steady into those 20s as we bring in the new year cold with a chance of some snow. Over to you, Lane. Just a little bit of snow just after the holidays. We'll still take it here. Thank you for joining us here on this Sunday morning. We'll see you right back here tonight on News 3 Now and always plugged in online at channel3000.com. Happy holidays.